Heat 9, as on the inside, Mitch Shearer in red. Next to him in yellow and black, we have Ila Taroma, two wins under his belt, the Flying Finn. Bid 3 has Tommy Nudson, and on the outside, the spectacular Eric Gunderson. Heat 9 with Coventry. A little trouble now. Taroma again who's made the jump and so too has Gunderson he moves into second place, third place is Shearer and the Heathens are in full cry at the moment well, their skipper Bruce Pennell said they were just about to move and bounce and uh, take the lead and they're doing just that as Taroma the reserve being used by team manager Mike Gardner as a replacement once he won he's eight and it looks like he's going to win heat nine as well second place Gunderson what a find this boy is he's riding Brandon quite brilliantly he's still got Mitch Shearer right on his tail and Mitch must really make his big efforts pretty soon because when they move over the line and you'll see that the, the uh, last lap flag out they're into the last lap it's very thick and fast out there and I think crazy this is going to be a maximum heat win for them and Coventry have got a lot of work to do to pull it back a win for Taroma, second place Gunderson, third place with Shearer 5-1 the points in favour of the visitors, the Heathens 24.5 to 29.5 and the Bees, the league champions under a fair bit of pressure Yes, this is Taroma from second from the inside in the yellow and black helmet. Another super start from him. And Gunnison shooting around the outside on the first corner. And this is where Taroma's really showing his worth. His experience is coming into play now. And Gunnison, a very, very young Danish boy, he's doing very, very well. Taroma's not looking for him, so he, he's not getting any help from Taroma. But what a good ride this is by this boy. Saw him lose his helmet colour there earlier on there. Uh... Taroma, of course, Barry. Finland uh, not known to produce many riders. This boy looked to be a world champion in the, or certainly a world finalist of the future. Lost his way a bit, but he seems to be getting his touch back now, doesn't he? Well, it's a good night to come back on form, Dave, because this is the heat. 5-1 uh, for Cradley. That's going to give Coventry a hell of a lot of pulling back. Remember, of course, we've got that uh, funny old dead heat, a half point there, so that uh, although they are now five adrift, they can't use tactical substitutes, can they? No, and it's also, you know, Coventry, you've got to hang on, win at home to stand that lead, lead chase, which they want to do again this year. Yeah, the league champions now, look at Taroma, time to look over his shoulder with a very neat piece of riding and a 5-1 for Cradley, and that could be crucial. Yeah.